Haven is headed southward through the Pacific at a speed of 33 knots. The Missouri is falling behind at a rate of about two nautical miles every hour. Can't this thing go any faster? I'm afraid not. This is as fast as she'll go. Liquid's target is JD, a U.S. military satellite disguised as orbital debris. Haven will have to surface in order to use the railgun. If we can figure out JD's orbit... <clears throat> there. We should be able to predict where Haven's gonna surface. <clears throat> JD is in a synchronous elliptical orbit, so its next perigee should be in... Uh... Oh, oh. Got it! 15 hours, 6 minutes, and 12 seconds. Right. In 15 hours, it's going to be over the Bering Sea, 494 nautical miles from the Bering Strait. Haven knows it too. They'll be holding position in that area. Do they really have to get that close to launch? The nukes fired by Rex's railgun have a damage radius of approximately 300 meters. The target is a moving satellite that's traveling at 10 kilometers per second. To get the precision they need, they have to get as close as they possibly can. Liquid won't launch his nuke until JD is at perigee. The Missouri can use that time to catch up. Will we make it? Once Haven stops moving, it'll take us an hour to close the gap. After that, the Missouri needs to strike before Haven's launch preparations are complete. This ship was stripped of most of its equipment. And she's got no electronic warfare capabilities of any kind. No radar, no high-tech weaponry. We'll have to rely on our own eyes to track the enemy. From the looks of it, Haven is going to use a railgun mounted on the bridge to destroy JD. You'll need to open the cover to launch the nuke. That's our one and only chance to get inside. Inside? Why can't we attack it from here? It wouldn't do any good. As long as Liquid has control of the system, physically destroying GW would still leave supreme authority in his hands. Sons of the Patriots. Yes, Dr. Emmerich is right. That's why we need to destroy GW from the inside, before attacking Haven itself. Hmm. Liquid's very own Death Star. All right, everybody, here's the plan. We know Haven will have to surface in order to fire the railgun. When it does, the Missouri will see it. We'll make a quick approach and deliver a strike team. Our goal is twofold. Prevent that nuke from launching and wipe out GW's programming. The enemy relies entirely on electronic means of threat detection. So they won't be able to see the Missouri until they surface. Hakiba. <laughs> we'll launch the strike team from catapults at the exact moment Haven's armored cover opens. They'll then penetrate GW's physical server room and infect it with a worm cluster. But what if they shut down GW before we get in there? Liquid is already entrenched within the Patriots network. He needs to stay there, or destroying JD won't serve him any purpose. They can't afford to have GW shut down. And let's not forget, Liquid will throw everything he's got at stopping the strike team. Exactly. The corridor leading to GW is defended by directed energy weapons that emit certain types of microwaves. Did you say microwaves? That's right. And at that frequency, the waves will start to evaporate any living person within range. A giant microwave oven. You'd have to have a death wish to go in there. Sounds like the perfect job for me. Snake, this isn't the time for your stupid jokes. Outside the corridor, liquid soldiers will be out in full force. Inside, there'll be unmanned weapons waiting for us. Where are you getting all this information? You really think there's a way to destroy GW? <coughs> yes. 
I do. She... left us something that'll point us in the right direction. Naomi helped with the preparations to stop Haven's launch. Naomi? All of our internal data on Haven came from her. The reason she got on the Nomad with us in the first place was to get close to me. But she ended up turning to Sonny instead. What do you mean? She left her plan in Sonny's hands. This entire operation is based on the data she left us. <coughs> Whose side was she on anyway? never know exactly what her true intentions were. But one thing's for sure. She was determined to stop Liquid. Promise. Promise me you'll carry on our will. Come on, guys. Somebody say something positive. Anything. Attention! Listen up! A wise man once wrote, The tongues of dying men enforce attention like deep harmony. Where words are spent, they are seldom spent in vain. <sighs> Any other questions? <clears throat> yes, Snake? Everybody got a smoke. Snake. <coughs> so this program, you're saying Sonny wrote it? Actually, only about a third of it is her work. <clears throat> Naomi was working on a program to destroy GW, but she couldn't quite finish it, so she handed it over to Sonny. Sonny went fishing in my library to see if there was any source code she could use to complete it. Eventually, she found some. It was Emma's worm cluster. My sister's code and worked it into Naomi's program. I didn't have time to look over every single line of code, but what I did see reminded me of Emma. It was like she left traces of herself behind in the structure. But this worm cluster that Sonny created, it's even better than Emma's. Sonny's worm destroys the AI's intellect by triggering apoptosis in the cells. Once uploaded into GW, it should do some real damage. <coughs> Snake, you ever think about quitting? Why? It's not like I've got my health to worry about. <coughs> Yourself. 
Why don't we get somebody else to go? There's no need for you to do it. I still have things left to do. <laughs> Besides smoke. think so. I've still got things to do myself. And I don't even smoke. <laughs> 